Hello everyone! So this is the first part of our basic web development series. So in this part, pag-aaralan natin yung kung ano yung mga resources na kakailangan natin during development. And of course, yung mga details regarding sa HTML. Okay? So before we start yung mga development na gagawin natin, we need to gather muna yung mga resources na kakailanganin natin. Okay, so in this particular discussion, basically, we just need mm, two things. We just need first the browser. So on my end, I use Google Chrome. So you can use naman yung Mozilla Firefox or other na mga browser kung ano yung mas prepared yung gamitin. Then the other thing is yung text editor. So on my end, I use Sublime Text. So you, but on your end, of course, it's up to you. Kung ano alin yung gagamitin nyo, you can use um, Notepad Plus Plus, PageSpeed Storm, or other text editor na mas prepared yung gamitin. Okay? So those are just the two things na gagamitin natin um, all throughout yung mga basic web development natin. Okay? Let's start. Um, now let's try to know what is HTML. So HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML describes the structure of the web pages using markup. HTML elements are the building block of the HTML pages. HTML elements are the are represented by tags. So itong tags na sinasabi dito are basically yung codes na gagamitin natin all throughout the development. Okay? Then, browsers do not display the HTML tags, but use them to render the content of the page. Okay, so we have here a sample um, web page. So, this is the output which has a content of my first heading and my my first paragraph and here are the codes um, behind that particular output so this is the basic structure of an html or a website so first we have the doc type it is about the declaration of html5 then we have the opening and closing HTML tag or element, which it is the root element of the HTML page. Then we have the head and closing head element or head tag, which contains the meta information of the HTML page. Then we have the body and closing body tag, which Basically, it contains the visible page of the um, website. So, kung ano yung uh, gusto nyong ilagay o gusto nyong mag-display sa, sa website nyo, dito nyo ilalagay within the body tag. Okay? Katulad nito, we have the H1, which serve as the heading of the page, and a paragraph tag which serves as the paragraph of the page. Then, meron din tayong dito yung title. So, title tag serves as the title of the document. So, this is the basic structure. So, lahat ng page, ganito yung structure. Meron siyang doc type, HTML, head, the title, then merong body, at uh, closing. So, Dito naman sa content, dito ay magkakaiba-iba kung ano yung ilalagay yung content. And also dito sa head. Kasi there are other meta meta elements na nilalagay natin dito. Okay? So basically, ito yung kailangan natin i-follow na structure. Okay? So now let's try to create a simple web page um, following this code. Since I already have the resources that I have naman, so, let me go to my desktop. Okay, so dito natin gagawin yung um, gagawa tayo ng folder to organize my file. 
So, papangalanan ko siyang my first website. Okay. So, ngayon, gagamitin ko naman yung text editor ko. Yung open. So, then file. Open folder. Then, nahanapin ko yung ginawa kong folder. Yan. So, let me close the other one. So, in this part, I'm going to create new file. And I'm going to save it. And save it as index.html. And save. Now, um, bakit index yung ginawa ko? It is because it will serve as your homepage of your website. Okay? So, bakit HTML? It is because it is the file extension na ginagamit for a basic website. Okay? So, don't forget guys ha, HTML yung file extension. Sometimes, they use HTM, but mostly, they use HTML. So, it depends on the server kung ano yung mas tinatanggap. Kasi, may ibang server daw na mas tinatanggap or um, or tinatanggap lang yung tatlong letters of extension. So, since HTML is apat, baka hindi siya mag-work. So, pwedeng HTM na lang. Yun yun. Okay? So, we go to this one. Let me copy this code. And save it here. So, palakihin ko lang para mas kita. Save natin. So, paano natin nirarun to? Um, pumunta ka lang sa folder na ginawa mo. And, i-gawal click lang natin to. So, let me try to zoom it. Yan. Um, ito na yung web page na ginawa ko. So, to check kung totoo ba yung code na yan, let me just try to right click and view page source. Ito yung code na nandito sa code na ting ginawa. So, therefore, tama yung code na ginawa natin. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. So, this is how we make our file with having a file extension of that HTML. Then, kung paano natin i-run. Okay? For our local development. Okay? Next is, so now let's try to know ano ba yung sinasabing HTML elements. So, an HTML element usually consists of start or opening tag and an end or closing tag. So, mostly na maririnig nyo sa akin is opening at saka closing tag. Um, with the content inserted in between. So, ito yung parang structure niya. Sample nito is that, nito. This, the HTML element is everything from the start tag to the end tag. So, from start tag to end tag. So, yung H1 is the start tag or the opening tag, then the element content, and the end tag or the closing tag. So, as a whole, this is called as HTML element. So, meron din tayong sinasabing empty elements. So, HTML elements with no con content are called empty elements. So, empty elements do not have an end tag or closing tag such as BR, which is a line break, IMG, which is an image, image tag, and uh, HR, which is the horizontal line tag. So, ano ba to? Let's try to try sa code kung ano ba yung mangyari if maglalagay ako ng BR. Um, sabihin natin dito sa gitna. Mababa siya. Save natin. Punta tayo sa browser natin. Refresh natin to. Yan. So, basically, the BR create new line. Okay? Kaya bumaba yung paragraph. Pero what if tanggalin ko to and ilagay ko sa baba? What will happen? So, punta tayo sa browser and try to refresh what will happen. So, okay. Bumalik sa taas yung paragraph nga 
x so this because yung kahit ilagay natin sa baba to ganon ng ganon ilagay natin sa pinakababa yung text pa rin is mapupunta siya as it's because yung behavior basically ng text is kung ano yung line niya yun ang magiging parang continuous lang siya pero kung lalagyan natin ng VR kagaya ng kanina and i-refresh natin yung ito then bababa na yung text natin okay so that's the basic purpose of BR. Now, let's try naman itong image tag. So, actually, I have a other video regarding image. If you want to learn more about image, kindly watch yung video na yan. Okay? So, so this a image tag. Then, nalagay tayo ng source. Source. Then, nilagay natin yung image source. So, hanap tayo ng picture. Then, copy natin to. Happy, ilagay natin balik sa folder natin. Paste ko. Okay, balik tayo sa code ko. Ilagay natin. So, may kita na natin dito yung image na, ilag na kinapi ko. Image1.jpg And I try to save this one and refresh natin. Yan. So, that's how we generate an image. Okay. So, tingnan natin dito. Bakit dito may sinasabing source or SRC and while dito wala naman? Basically, this is called attributes. The attribute name and the attribute value. So, there are other attributes like class, ID, or other attribute pa. So, it's just terminology guys. If you want um... To learn more about attribute um, or parang para mas masanay kayo sa mga attribute, um, ito lang yan. Mga ganon yan. So, just terminology na ginagamit natin pagdating sa web development. Okay? So, itong HR naman yung itry natin. So, maglalagay ako ng HR dito. And let me refresh the browser. So, yun. So, HR creates a horizontal rule. It creates a horizontal line on this part. So, it occupy the whole row. So, that's the basic purpose of HR. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you learned something today. Um, just keep practicing, guys. I know... You will learn a lot more about web development. Okay, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye for now.